My research interest lies in analyzing the juncture of macro and finance, typically related to the circumstances we encounter in our day-to-day -day life, like the inflation expectations, interest rate setting, fiscal deficits, GDP growth, unemployment rate, etc., etc., and its spillover to financial markets and resultant economic fluctuations. Presently, I am documenting the nature of risk premium in Indian government debt market, that is, excess return which government compensates to investors, fund managers, while borrowing for longer duration, typically 10 years and above. As you all know, government, financial institutions, corporations, and households are always concerned of long-term borrowing cost, as much of investment by firms and consumption of durables and services by households are financed by long-term borrowing. And these long-term borrowing rates are function of the excess risk premium in the government debt market. The study shows that risk premium for India is highly persistent and has consistently fluctuated between 125 basis point to 220 basis point over the last two decades. Much of this risk premium is due to the counter-cyclical inflationary shocks which investors encounter in India. That is, when growth is moderating, there is risk of high inflationary pressure. Although to curtail inflationary risk, central bank is pursuing a medium to long term inflation target band of 4% plus minus 2%, that is inflation between 2% 2 to 6% from 2015-16, but we see investors get nervous when inflation starts approaching 5.2% to 5.5%, much below the upper threshold of 6% and subsequently increase their risk premium in the debt market. The edginess is mainly due to two factors. Factor one, long history of accommodative monetary policy stance of the central bank, which drives the uncertainty among the investors with the medium to long run inflation target band communicated by the central bank. Factor two, we are in a situation where the share of corporate profit to that of GDP has consistently declined over the decade. Due to such factors, Investors and fund managers with portfolio of bonds and equities sees the central government debts as risky instrument, not as instrument of hedge, and command a persistent premium to deliver a desired target return. Such unique structural setup has motivated me to pursue further research questions on designing optimal monetary policy response for emerging economies like India. In economies like India has their unique setups. We have significant proportion of households who do not have access to capital market. Then we have significant amount of small and medium scale firms who all face continuous uncertainty with their operating cost and marginal product of capital. So, in, so it's imperative to design an optimal monetary policy with policy objective of obtaining an inclusive growth and checking the borrowing cost by keeping the risk premium under control. Representation of these agents has increased in the economy with time due to growth of retail loans and NBFCs servicing these segments and declining share of corporate profits to DGP. Under such segmentation, I am looking into the optimal monetary policy response and efficacies of policies involving pegging term premium and exchange rates to alleviate income risk, reduce inequality and promote inclusive growth.